calling the internet police. <laughs>Hello, hi, howdy, and welcome to the Game Case official Garrison Pet Battle Daily Guide. So today, we're going to talk about what I have in my Garrison, and that is a three-tiered Goran combination of Rockbiter, Acid Tooth, and Stone Chewer. As you can see, I'm already queued up to battle here. I'm going to be going at these guys with my Fragment of Anger, my Anubiseth Idol, and my Molten Corgi. Now, I'll talk through their abilities as we come to use them. Let's talk a little bit about Rockbiter here. Now, all three of these guys are all humanoids, so they're all going to have the ability to heal after they deal damage. That's going to be important, as this fight can turn into a bit of a slugfest if you don't come with the proper pets. So, let's go down Rockbiter's abilities real quick. We have Bite, which deals 264 beast damage. We have Nature's Ward, which restores 100 five health every round for five rounds that's a legit ability there with most pet abilities dealing between two and three hundred damage that 100 heal can definitely keep rockbiter in the fight longer than normal now this is important while healing he's turned into an elemental so if you have any abilities that specifically damage elementals and hit them hard i would suggest that you use them here now, the last one, and this is one that you have to kind of watch out for. This is Burrow. It's a two-round ability. He's going to burrow underneath the ground. You can't hit him. And then he's going to come back and deal between 316 to 475 beast damage. That's a legit amount of damage. So watch out for that one. If you have a shield, pop it. If you have a way to mitigate it, pop it. Let's dive on in. Let's see what we can do here. So my Fragment of Anger. Got a Spirit Fire Bolt, magic damage, 237 to 441. Um, Enrage, which increases my damage dealt by 100% and the damage that I take by 50%. That one's going to be really important because it's going to let me take Rockbiter down, hopefully very quickly. And then 3, which is Soul Rush, a 4-round cooldown, deals 463 magic damage, has a 25% chance to stun the target. So we're going to throw out an Enrage. As our first ability, he's going to burrow, which is not good for us. I'm actually going to swap pets here and go with my Anubiseth Idol. Let him take this hit and throw up Sandstorm. Now let's go back to my shawl, or the Fragment of Anger, rather. Alright, so we're going to let him take that hit. Burrow is still on cooldown, and Rage is now up. I'm going to take one more hit. We're going to go with Soul Rush, which does 779 damage, because remember, it has that Enrage buff timed in. It also stunned him. So we're going to go ahead and throw another Enrage up. He's actually going to switch out to Stone Chewer. Now, Stone Chewer, we have a Body Slam, which does 440 humanoid damage, but damages him for 192. We have Punch, which does 296 damage, and we have Shell Armor, which reduces up to 222 damage from each attack. This one's important because this is his stay in the fight mechanic. Rockbiter has the heals. Um, Stone Chewer has the armor so we have enrage up we're gonna go ahead and throw out our spitfire bolt here see what happens he throws up his carapace and as you can see that only did 114 damage even though it was increased by 100 percent so we're gonna go ahead and throw out another spitfire bolt we're not gonna waste another hit here now enrage And Soul Rush. And that's kind of your rotation for him. Now, unfortunately, he's taken down my Fragment. Now, my Fragment is a Undead. So, he comes back up. And he's going to come back up with 15 health. Not a whole lot. Enough to get him one more hit, hopefully. And now... Yep. Yeah, 
All right, we got one more hit in, and the fragment is gone. So we go back to that Anubiseth idol, and let's see if we can't get this guy down. Sandstorm, always get that one up. We got him down to 39, but as you can see, he got his humanoid heal there. So we're going to throw out a punch, and he is down. Stone Chewer down. All right, that brings Rockbiter back up. You see he's still got 1,000 health, so he is not to be ignored. Now, since he has this burrow ability, he's either going to throw up Nature's Ward or he's going to burrow. The good thing is, since burrow is a two-round ability, I can hit him anyway. There we go. Nice little crit. So we're going to throw out Crush one more time. I'm willing to bet he's going to burrow. Yep, there we go. So he burrows, gets a little bit of heals off of Nature's Ward. We throw up our shield to avoid his big burrow hit. Dodge it. He gets his heals again. That was from Nature's Ward since he didn't actually hit me. Oh, another good crit. All right, now what we're going to do here is going to kind of uh, just trade blows with him. Hope that he goes down first. Unfortunately, we were, we were about equal in health before that hit. As you can see, he gets 99 back and 72. So we're actually perfectly even here. This is, this is going to be interesting. 190, 298, but he got 106 back. So he's up one. He's throwing up Nature's Ward again, and that may be his undoing if I can get a reasonable hit in here. Ugh. He's at four health. He's going to burrow. It gives him another round of heals, too. So although he was at four heal health, he's probably going to come out of this around, I don't know, 200? 201. So let's hope for a good crush. And there you go. Rock Biter down. So now we just have to deal with Acid Tooth. Now Acid Tooth has a Spiny Carapace, which is a two-round cooldown. It's going to deal 78 aquatic damage each time you take direct damage. And effectiveness is tripled by one for one round if this ability is used while already active. So you're going to see that come out. It's a two-round cooldown, but a five-round ability. You're going to see it affect this fight. His Punch, 312 damage, cool. And Acid Tooth, which is 187 aquatic damage, and then 78 each round for four rounds. So, nothing too scary, although I say that, but two of his punches is going to take me down. So, let's go ahead and throw up Sandstorm. There's 370 damage on him. He threw up his Spiny Carapace. So, next time I hit him, I'm actually going to take 78 aquatic. I actually took four of that. Now, let's go ahead, let's hit him one more time. We will probably go down after the next round. The only thing I could really do is throw up a shield here. Since I don't have anything burning away at him, there's really no reason to do that. He throws up his carapace again. That triples the effectiveness. I'm down. But, guess what? Still got my Molten Corgi. Now, you may say... Molten Corgi, a fire elemental against an aquatic pet. I don't know. What are you doing there, Cuddles? What's going on, buddy? Well, this ability is going on. 490 beast damage. And also the Puppies of the Flame. I absolutely love this ability. It's an eight round cooldown, but it makes you become unattackable for two rounds and you deal at least 70 elemental damage. Although his abilities are going to be more powerful against me, we're going to go ahead and see if these Puppies of the Flame can do a little bit of damage to him. He's going to miss me. Can't hit me, buddy. Oh, we're going to get blocked. There's 70 and 140. So there was 280 damage without me doing a thing. He now has 45 left. We're going to throw out Flamethrower, and there you go. That is how you take down Rockbiter, Stone Chewer, and their good friend, Acid Tooth. So thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate you guys. If you enjoyed this video, click the subscribe button down there. Click the thumbs up somewhere around here. 
go check out the website, thegamecase.com. You can follow me at mullet863 on Twitter. You can find this site on Twitter at The Game Case Show. Every Thursday at 10 p.m. Eastern, I do record my podcast, The Game Case Show podcast, live on twitch.tv slash The Game Case. Thank you so much for listening. I appreciate each and every one of you. I hope you have a great day. Thank you again. Game Case out.